talking about your two guys, mm-hmm. maybe help you decide which road to travel down. Well, one, I'm, I can't. I can't travel down, although I feel a stronger connection to him. Oh, At can't. the moment, I do. At the moment. Um, but no, one, I can't travel down. Okay. All right. So, um, and you both need to want it to work because mm-hmm. it takes a lot of work. Yeah. If one person does not want it to work, it's not going to work. Um, although there are some differences, both Golding and Kirk came from stable, strong families and their children just kind of, you know, came together as well. So mm-hmm. that's her, that's her secret to success when it comes to long lasting relationships. I think the real truth to it is they're, they are their best friends. They really are. Like, <clears throat> Steve, you know, if he didn't travel so much, I feel like it would be different. But when he's home, I'm like, glue. I'm like, <laughs> hold me. Hold me. Attention, please. That's me. And we've been together five years. Like, I run home to him. I'm like, ah, must leave work. Got to see the boyfriend. I've missed well, him. he travels so much. So much. I have to say very honestly, too, when I come over, I'm happy when I see him here. You know, because I'm yes. happy for you, for one. And then he's just a cool guy. He is. Yes, he he's pretty amazing. Yeah, he's a cool guy. So you're into fitness, mm-hmm. and I found this article, and I thought it would be perfect. I've actually been saving it for a while so that I could share it with you. So a personal trainer named Sophie K proved why you should ignore those before and after fitness selfies. She posted two photos, and it, the results were shocking. They were done within like three minutes. I know. Of each I other. love this. Yeah. I love that she did this. I absolutely love this because those before and after pictures can make mm-hmm. you feel like crap. They really can. Absolutely. And the whole thing is, it's like, I am I am very fit. You know, I run probably, I don't run like I used to when I ran marathons, but I run probably 30 miles a week. When I lift, I lift very, very heavy. I take it very seriously. Uh, and it makes me feel good. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's the big thing. But I'm never going to look like I looked when I was in my in my 20s and 30s when I was running marathons. I'm just not. Gravity has, gravity's not nice to us. <laughs> you know, Gravity it's just, is a B word. It's just not. But I love that she did this because I think what it really made me start to think of is us as whole people. And so now I have, I have wisdom and compassion and kindness and just stuff I didn't have then. So would I trade in how I looked in my 20s and 30s for that? No. I wouldn't, but this is good because she's looking at just be, f- be fit, be healthy, take care of your body, but don't try and attain an impossible, up t- an impossible standard. It, don't compare just, yourself to others is also, no, yeah, exactly, huge. exactly. And you know, I've written about that several times mm-hmm. and, and, um, be your own best. And yeah, so I love that I love that she did this because there has been some other personal trainers who on Instagram and different social media sites have shame people. Yes. Yeah. And I, shame doesn't shame does not create any positive results. You you just want to teach people to be your best you. Mm-hmm. Accept your body and you know so my body is nothing like it was in my 20s. But at the same time, I I appreciate I appreciate what my body can do. You know, I absolutely appreciate that I can run, that I can lift so heavy, that it carries me through stress and and challenging times in my life, and you know, sex, and you know, I appreciate what my body does, and I appreciate that it's healthy, and that's that's enough. That's good. You're very healthy. Very. You're looking amazing. Thank you. You're, you don't own a scale, so you don't know how much you're down. No, so. if I got on the scale, that would trigger all sorts of... But your clothes are fitting better. My clothes are fitting great. I'm getting into my smaller size clothes, and yeah, I'm feeling good. Yay! I'm feeling really good. Well, what this personal trainer did, she's also a blogger. She um, made headlines by posting um, on Tumblr where she took a picture... Of her in just like a normal bra and panties. Mm -hmm. And um, that was her before shot. Well, um, then about three minutes later, she turned off the overhead lights, put on underwear that fit better. She twisted her body slightly to the side to show off her best angle. She flexed and then added a filter. And it's amazing the differences Mm -hmm. in the pictures. And Mm -hmm. I will post that in our wherever I post this. And you can look at the second one and then start thinking, oh, I'm never going to look like that. I'm never going to be that. Why bother? Why do this? You know, and and 
you, you know, when you look in the gym, go to any gym, you see very fit people with all different types of bodies, you know? Yep. So, I, although I have to, I have to admit that <clears throat> I went through the whole body image thing. When I quit smoking and gained weight, I did go through the whole body image thing again, and I like this a lot better, you know? I do. I admit that. But... I do also accept that I'm never going to look like I did in my 20s when my boobs were perky and didn't need bras to hold them up. And, you know, I'm, I miss that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Do you have a, like, throwback Thursday picture from those times? I don't think so. I've never been a real big picture person just oh, because not. I'm so awkward. <laughs> I like am. I'm so awkward. 20. I mean, I have some really, really great pictures that people snapped. You know, Zach has a lot of pictures um, that, you know, just that were just snapped when I was having fun. And, you know, people who know me well, they go through they go through my pictures and they're like, what is with the Mona Lisa thing that you have going on? You know, because I hardly ever smile in my pictures. If I do smile, I'm awkward. I don't know. It triggers some weird thing in me that I just start freaking out. But my best pictures that really show who I am is are, you know, where I'm just having a good time. I didn't know I was being photographed. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that I was being photographed. And, you know, you look at my pictures like on Facebook and you think, ooh, I don't want to play poker with her. But <sighs> the truth is that you know, my face squishes up when I laugh, and and I'm very expressive in my face. And I, I don't I'm looking really at the don't... two pictures of you behind you, and I think you look beautiful. And those are not; those were posed. Mm-hmm. But I, I just don't. Okay. I feel awkward in pictures. I just do. It's perfectly fine for people to snap pictures when I'm just having a good time, and sometimes those are really great pictures. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just feel so. Awkward. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No pressure. No pictures today. Yeah. No. Did you hear about Blake Shelton? He turned 39 on Friday. I will. And I also heard he's a do-gooder. He is. Mm -hmm. So do you want to talk about it? Well, he helped a guy in Oklahoma, and I think that one didn't actually... So, um, Blake Shelton lives in Oklahoma. Yeah, and so, well, I know that because he is my boyfriend. I know that. But he, uh, the you know, all the flooding and the tropical oh, storm. Oh, my parents are in um, southwest Missouri, and, the, oh, so much flooding. So much flooding. Mm -hmm. It's insane. <laughs> but everyone's okay. So, so an Oklahoman guy got his tra got stuck in some flooding waters and and blake shelton helped him out yeah the guy was and then drove like, him home was trying to like get his truck unstuck and yep. like all of a sudden this mm -hmm. dodge pulled up and this guy's like you ready and throws like this tow rope mm -hmm. and the guy's like you should see the have you seen the video mm -mm. oh my gosh the guy's like i thought that was blake shelton i know and i told him <laughs> yeah <laughs> go ahead <laughs> it was like Oh my gosh! People, you, um, you do that so well. You can tell you're from that part of the world. <laughs> it, yeah, and I, I knew he was. I knew he was a ticketer. I mean, yeah. he's my he boyfriend. He drove the guy and, like over yonder is what the guy said. Over yonder, <laughs> over yonder. And then he to snapped some pictures with Blake, and then he was like, his "Let's wife get it got up on to me, Blake." Oh, he and, called his wife on mm -hmm. the way there and was like, "Blake Shelton, pick me up. You better spiffy yourself up. Yes. We're on our way home." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! I love how they talk. I love it. No, I'm just like quoting. I'm not making I know, fun. I know, I know. <laughs> I need to put the link to the video so no one thinks I'm making fun. But he was the most adorable Oklahoman, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, wow, that is so cute. Yeah, I sh I showed it to Ken, and I said, see, look what my boyfriend did. He's so <laughs> nice, and he's like, so I'm competing with Blake Shelton. Yep. I said, well, he's got a wife who's much more beautiful than me, oh, stop. so I can no. have a boyfriend. Well, he also, like a proper possible future boyfriend, he said, oh, no, you're way prettier. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, you might ooh. be a good catch after all. <laughs> and this all happened on Blake's birthday. That's so cool. So awesome. See, that's why he's my boyfriend. I right. love him. <laughs> Speaking of birthdays, wouldn't you love if you pooped glitter? <laughs> there was this article about the perfect birthday gift are these pills that you take and it turns your poop I'm, into glitter i'm feeling a deja vu it seems like when amber was here we talked about pooping glitter 
Because didn't we so. talk about the her dog ate my yes, crayons? Yes. Her dog ate my crayons and was pooping colors for a while. My dog did, just recently did the same thing too. <laughs> I, I you don't, need to buy your dog some glitter pills. I have to say, I don't look at my poop. I don't either. I don't care if it's Do glittery. You, have you tried poopery? That stuff's freaking amazing, Carrie. <laughs> okay, guess what, guys? We all poop. Let's talk about it. So, I'm like, what is this poopery? I had seen it in the stores a couple times, and I didn't buy it. But, like, one day I was like, you know what? I should just buy it. I should buy some and try it. Yep, it worked. My bathroom turned into a rose garden instead of a sewage. What does it? What does it do? It you spray it in the toilet <laughs> before you go to the bathroom. Ah, uh-huh, you and know. And then when you go to the bathroom, <clears throat> instead of it smelling like sewage, it smells like a rose garden. I could have used that my first few days yes. of going vegan. In a new oh, talk mm-hmm. about poop. Let's go. No, I'm not going to talk about. I poop. thought we were going to talk about it. No, we're not talking about poop. <laughs> you said we were going to talk about poop. No, I don't think I ever. You said, I said this is perfect podcast think, material. No, I said were we being sarcastic? I think me and oh. Steve were being sarcastic. I don't think I took about up, the clean I did not Cohen. pick up <laughs> the sarcasm. Go get him, <laughs> Steve. Bring the wine. <laughs> I am pretty sure we were being sarcastic. So when about you go my... vegan, some things happen with the body, and you yes. need some poopery. Yes, and I, the first few days, the first I don't know what was. Ha- it was. I was miserable the first Aww. few days. My body was not used to that much plant food. It wasn't. <laughs> it was used to Twinkies and bacon and cupcakes and and wine and beer and cheese. <laughs> Give me some. Dang it was cheese. not used to plant food. So I know my body is sitting there saying, "What the hell are you doing?" Um, yeah, but no, we don't need to talk about my very okay. cleansed colon. Your colon's happy. I could have sampled the whole little glitter thing, so just report with the poopery. With the poopery, that would have been the best trial. Yes, you should have started veganism after this podcast. How long have you been doing it? The vegan? Yeah, I'm only doing the three weeks, so I'm done. I'm done this week. This is your last week. Yeah, I'm done this week. This is Monday, so Next, you're done Friday. Uh, Saturday. Saturday. Sunday, I'm meat and cheese. You have, have you purchased it already? No. If I purchase it, <laughs> you'll eat it. I will talk myself into actually eating. You've the made cheese. it two weeks. You can make it. Yeah, Carrie. I can. No, you, I'm doing. Fine. If you think about cheating, just just text me. Okay. And I'll be like, no. <laughs> and you'll text me back. I'm eating cheese. <laughs> no, I don't. This cheese tastes like crap. <laughs> Government cheese. <laughs> Government cheese. <laughs> Government cheese. That's so bad. That's so bad. <laughs> Uh, oh, how about some um, cupcakes and presents time? It's okay. celebrity birthday time. Yay. All right. This is for people that are celebrities that have birthdays this week. So it could have been on Sunday or it could be on Friday. Um, but let's see. Who has a birthday? Drummer Joey Kramer of Aerosmith turns 65. Wow. Yeah. Actress Juliette Lewis turns 42. Do you know who she is? She's 42? Yeah. Crazy, huh? Wow. Um, Chris Christopherson is 79. Do you know who he is? Yeah, and Singer, I kind of songwriter, believe he's, actor. I, I believe he's that age. He's always looked older, mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. Um, bassist Gary Beers of NXS is 58. Wow. Yeah. I'm sort of feeling old. That's what Even though I'm younger than them, I'm feeling... I'm... It's like, uh, they were always old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Actor Donald Faison of Scrubs is 41. TV personality Jay Rodriguez is, of Queer Eye for the Straight Guy is 36. Let's see. Who else? Former American Idol judge Randy Jackson is 59. Those last three people, I don't even know who they are. That's okay. Actress Selma Blair is 43. Don't Cruel know. Intentions. She was brunette. Okay. No. Mm. No. I'm sorry. I don't know enough celebrities. It's okay. Um, Colin Blundstone of The Zombies is 70. Former Mick Fleetwood of Fleetwood Mac is 68. Wow. Do you know these people? Am I doing better? I kind of thought he was older. <laughs> I did. I have to... Can I confess something? What's that? I have so many friends who love, love, love Stevie Nicks. Oh, love Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks is so great. I think she's weird. <laughs> I think she is too. I just think she's weird. I don't like her. And then, you know, along with that, people would send me, oh, you like fashion. You love fashion. And so they'd send me like these bohemian Stevie Nicks kinds of things. Would you wear this? No. No. <laughs> 
No, do I look like somebody who rejected? Would wear that? <clears throat> okay, I got that out. <laughs>